Hello, beloved. I am wearing my rose tinted glasses because this is such an extraordinary, life transforming, earth shattering, global changing month. And that is because Pluto is going back into Capricorn, or Capricorn's going back into Pluto for its final path. It's at an extreme degree and it's going to bring whoo, all of our learning since 2008, boom, right centre to our lives. So it is huge. On top of that, at the opposite end of the scale, we have a full moon, lunar eclipse in Pisces. So it's very emotional, darlings, and it's very psychic. Here's your monthly astrology. Hey Virgo, this is a huge month for all of us. And for you, it's very interesting because you're reflecting, obviously, load of energy in Virgo this month. You know, it's Virgo season. There's a lot of joy and excitement and, you know, people loving you and you feeling more confident in yourself and the universe giving you many gifts. I'll come on to that. But the big thing this month is that Pluto re-enters Capricorn, and how that's impacted you and your life. And what's been interesting is hopefully some really good things have happened over this past 16 years, but a really big shift around your creativity, your happiness, how you see joy. Depending on how old you are, you know, 16 years ago, you maybe saw, you realise you've been on this massive journey to find happiness. And hopefully you have found happiness, but along that journey, you probably had to let go of things that you knew couldn't make you happy and would never make you happy. And regardless of it, even if you're happier now, losses are difficult to deal with. And we're all reflecting on what has happened in the past 16 years and where we're going. Hopefully you've had a peak experience where it comes to love, when it comes to creativity, when it comes to joy. Hopefully you've had a lot of that around you in the past 16 years. And you're reliving, replaying, re-experiencing all the major headlines of the past 16 years for the next two months. So hopefully you've made peace with it. Hopefully there's, a, I feel like very positive for you, I have to say. I think you're going to experience like some wonder and magic. But if there's anything in your life that's not making you happy, whether it's your own behaviour, whether it's other people's behaviour, whether there's something significant in your life that you know is not going to bring you happiness in the future. Pluto's going to go, right, come on now. This is it. It's the end of an era. I only want you to think about what makes you happy, what makes you laugh and gives you, you know, follow your bliss basically and go towards what you love now. It's, it's the last chance. It's the final hurrah. Let's get on and do it. Now we have your very own wishing moon on the 3rd of September. You are able to let go of the past and think about what the next era is for you. You know, how would you want to see yourself in the future? What do you want to create? How do you want other people to think about you and experience you? And, well, not that matters so much, but like, how would you want to be seen if you were thinking that, you, you know, people never saw you again? What, what would their defining memory be of you? And that is the way forward. You're, you are re-honing your individuality you are looking at your character you're looking at your personality and you're going this is me and i'm going to surrender anything that isn't authentic or isn't me and i'm going to step into the world this month really showing the world my authentic and true self so it's very very magical we also have obviously the sun going into your sign on the 22nd and that's super exciting Mars goes into Cancer on the 4th of September. You are out and about. There is a lot of socialising. There's a lot of networking. Anything you put out there in the world could end up being quite sticky and super successful. You've got the energy to keep going. I mean, you know, if you're a typical Virgo, there are times you like to be alone. But this month is definitely an out and about month. And you're feeling much happier in yourself with Mercury going proper direct and out of retro shadow. You're feeling confident about what you want to say. You may even find yourself the centre of attention in some way. That you're in a group and other people, you're the leader in some way. And maybe in the past you would have found that uncomfortable. 
but actually you're going to love it. You're going to feel, you know, like, yes, I know what to say. I know how to behave. I know what to do. And this is my destiny. Another great day for you is the 15th of September when Venus is trying Jupiter, the planet of good fortune. Something magnificent could occur in terms of your career, money, reputation. And you're like, oh, I feel loved by the universe today. So anything that comes up for you around the 15th, really pay attention because it could be extremely beneficial and you could not only benefit personally, but like it's it's ongoing. It could like spread some wonder and magic into your life going forward. But there is a touch of recognition around that time. Now, the full supermoon in Pisces, there's a partial lunar eclipse. If there are any secrets connected to intimate relationships, one-to-one relationships or friendships, it's likely to come out. Lunar eclipse always reveals something. And Pisces is romance, love, but also hidden enemies. So if there is a hidden enemy, that could come to the surface. But I would imagine it's not something you don't already know. You're, you're very intuitive, actually. I don't think Virgos get the credit for being intu- intuitive. You're intuitive, but possibly you then overanalyze it. Don't forget, Pisces is your opposite sign. And we often have the elements of our opposite sign, or certainly it's something we need to work towards. So pay attention to your intuition and your gut feelings. There may be also an unexpected invitation to go and do something exciting and adventurous. Make sure that everything is clear before you make that commitment, though, because Again, it's a partial lunar eclipse. The sun goes into Libra on the 22nd and Mercury goes into Libra on the 26th. So you are opening up your heart to possibility, to wonder, to magic, to joy. Make the most of this month because there is unexpected, fabulous things. And, you know, the energy shifts on the 22nd to you becoming much more stable. But this month will show you who and what you need to commit to. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you so much for the love you've given me regarding the Nightweight Tarot. If you haven't got it yet, it contains all of my love and passion that I've had for tarot since I was a small child. And the book gives you an easy way to not only work with tarot easily and quickly, but also to manifest. You can get it from the dreaded Amazon or all good bookstores. So thank you once again.